Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Also, if you are new, welcome. If this is one of the first videos you've seen of mine, this is my helping hand series where I go to someone else's house and help them clean for free. This week, I am helping out this amazing mama of two. She has a young boy who is in grade school. I'm not sure his exact age. He wasn't home when I came. Um, but from what I can tell, like kindergarten, first, second grade, um, and a newborn little girl, and she had just moved in literally this week into this new apartment. Um, she was feeling very overwhelmed because when she got the apartment, she was told it'd be freshly cleaned before they moved in and everything, and it very much looked like it was just a surface cleaning that was done on it. So I told her I would come out and help hit those areas that it's the best time to clean it all when you don't have anything in. Unfortunately, I couldn't get out there before she actually had moved in. Um, but I figured this would be a great checklist for anyone who's getting a new house, a new apartment, anything like that of areas that are definitely easiest to clean before anything is in there. Um, in today's video, you will see me kind of jumping around a lot. I had a list of things I knew I wanted to get done in the time that I was here between, um, dropping the kids off at school and then picking them up from school and then a list of things that I would do on top of it if I had the time. Some of those things being the ceiling fans all needed to be cleaned, uh, the windows and window trackings all really needed a good cleaning, and then doors. All of the doors had a good layer of dust on any of the detailed parts of it, so Today we are going to be getting a lot done. I did want to focus on using a lot of my Thieves Cleaner or Pine Sol. I tried to avoid any heavy chemical cleaners as much as possible, especially with her having a newborn in the house. I know that was one of her biggest concerns is not having too many chemicals in the home to get this done, but she definitely was appreciative to the helping hand of getting this new place feeling a little bit more cozy and like home. So this past weekend, we had our little meet and greet at my mom's coffee shop. I want to thank everyone that came out and hung out. It was so much fun. I've said this before, so you guys know this is no surprise that I get very anxious when being around a bunch of people, especially people I don't know. So I was very, very nervous, but I have to say... I had so much fun and it really just felt like I was hanging out and chit-chatting with friends. So many of you guys I've had conversations with on Instagram or here in the comments and I see you comment every single week that it really just felt like I was hanging out with friends and I was not expecting that in any shape or form. But I can now truly say when I say this feels like family, you guys feel like friends, it is 100% true. This is not just like an online thing because meeting so many of you guys in person, that's exactly what it felt like. Even in person, it just felt like I was hanging out with friends. I hope you guys felt the same hanging out there. Um, I always say that I might be a little awkward because I am such an introvert, but I really, really enjoyed it. I'm sure we will do it again. Um, so if you guys missed this one, definitely keep your eye out. I know a lot of people up north are saying we have to do it in the summer when we go and visit family in Wisconsin because so many of you guys want to meet us. So I definitely think we'll do that again because like I said, it was just so much fun being able to like put actual faces to names. Like I know um, when you guys came in, I... It was almost like, oh, what is it? No, when you see someone and you have that like, oh, I know this person, but I don't know from where. That's really what it felt like when people came in. Like, I recognized you. I may not have known your name, but I recognize you because all of you have been so just like 
friendly and awesome here on my channel. So just know when I call you guys friends and family, I truly mean it. And this weekend truly proved it. So this is a great idea whenever you're moving or even selling your house. Um, my sister is actually a real estate agent, and I know one of the things that she offers is two-hour cleaning for any houses that she lists. And I think a lot of people forget like the little things when selling a house, and it can make a massive, massive difference. So if you take the time and write out a list, get your baseboards, um, getting the windows inside and outside the window tracks, uh, cleaning out your air vents, any of those areas when moving into a new place or selling your current place, I promise will help you in so many ways. I feel like often, not I shouldn't say I feel like, it's the truth. Often we don't realize the smell that our homes have and they all have a smell, but we go nose blind to it. I'm sure when people come over to my house, as clean as I am, my house still has a smell. I have animals, I have children, um, and it's just, a, it's just the way it is. So if you can move into a new place or sell your old place and just hit those areas that maybe on your spring cleaning checklist that you don't do all the time, it makes such a massive difference. It also makes it so much easier when you're moving into a place because... I don't know about you, but I always just feel a little weird moving into a place. And if I move all my stuff in and it still has everyone, the old owner's dirt. And that sounds so weird, but I know you guys know what I mean. Um, so being able to go in and get this deep cleaning done first will give you such a homey feel before you get all your things in. Um, I was able to get most of the outside windows done. I only took the screens off the ones that I could easily get off. I was not about to mess around with the ones that were a little bit more stuck because not my house. If the screens break, I didn't want to deal with that issue. But luckily, most of these screens came off really easy. Um, and this apartment complex, the windows were pretty easy to clean. They weren't too, too high. I was able to just take my stepladder and go around and get them. The other nice thing though about um, her new place is most of the blinds were brand new. The only one that was not is, I believe the one in her bedroom. That one took me a little bit longer to clean because it was not brand new. And you guys know me, I already am not a huge fan of cleaning blinds. That is why you will not find any blinds in my house. I like curtains. They're way easier to deal with in my mind. Um, but if you have blinds, a great way to get them really, really clean, especially if you're moving into a new place and they haven't been done, is take them down, put some Tide laundry detergent or um, some OxyClean or something like that in your bathtub, hot water, and let them soak you should then just be able to rinse them off after about an hour or so and you're getting that full fresh cleaning once again i don't live here and i don't have that type of time when i'm coming to clean so i just did as thorough of a cleaning while they were hanging up as possible i also know the doors were one area she was really hoping i would get to we had been talking for about a week on facebook messenger um, about things that were on her list of areas that she hadn't gotten to um, and she really, really wanted done. She had gotten to some of it because they wanted to do some stuff before they moved their things in. But we definitely had like a list that we had made up together of areas that would be the most helpful for them. But you can kind of see the house is not fully put together. Um, there's still things that need to be hung, things that need to be put away. So I was definitely working around all the clutter throughout the house.
Now, the furniture obviously wouldn't be something that a normal move-in clean I would normally worry about, but she did ask if I would be willing to shampoo this rocking chair, as well as a couple other pieces of furniture she had recently gotten off of Facebook Marketplace, and I told her absolutely it would be no problem. Um, so I did this chair. She also had gotten a dining room set in the kitchen that I'll end up doing a little bit later on and a recliner. Um, I love this little carpet shampooer. It is super easy to use, super easy to clean, and I feel like it is like a must-have. If you um, have any type of fabric in your house, I know often you don't need a huge shampooer. If you don't have carpeting or rugs, it's really not a big deal. Um, but this little one for getting those spots on any furniture or if you have animals that might have had an accident. I know I have used this so many times. Drake is getting old. He's our 14-year-old um, husky. And if he has an accident or gets sick, this is my go-to. I can grab it out. I can clean it up really quick. And I'm not hauling out my huge shampooer to get it done. So I would love to know what is on your cleaning checklist when you move into a new place. I would love everyone's advice because let's be honest, it's really easy to forget when you have a huge list of stuff to get done, but leave yours like to do list in the comments below because I think it would be really helpful to anyone that is about to move, about to sell their place of areas that they may not be thinking of. Like I said, ceiling fans, windows, your um, AC filter, um, anything like that. Those areas that may just be on your once a year checklist. I know one thing that I always make sure is done when I move um, or move into a place is the refrigerator. Like, when I move out of a place, once all my stuff is out, that refrigerator gets a really good cleaning, just a little bit of water um, with some bleach in it. That way it's fully sanitary. So when the new people come in, they don't have any remnants of me and my family and what we had. Um, that I know is one of the big areas. Another big one would be your dishwasher cleaning that filter and um, running a baking soda and vinegar cycle. Dishwashers can be a huge cause to any foul odor in your house. So that's another one I would put on my list. And blowing out your air vents for your dryer. Another great thing to get done. Um, if you move into a place or moving out of a place, just little things like that. Like I said, these are often things that we just don't always think about on a day-to-day, -day, but you might as well jump on it before you have all the clutter and mess after moving in. Don't know where you are I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late I'm thinking of you I'm thinking of you I'm thinking of you Wondering if you're thinking about me too This past week has been insane. We got all of our Halloween decorations up outside. Bobby did such a good job this year. Um we got a couple new things. You guys know us. We get a couple things every single year, which is why our house is insane now. We've been collecting for about 13 years now, holiday decor. Um, but we got all of that done this past week. We had the meet and greet, obviously. I talked about that. Uh, but Bjorn also went to Urban Air with one of his best friends from school. His mom was so sweet, and she was sick when we did the boys' birthday party and felt 
horrible about missing it and ended up taking Bjorn and his friend for the day. He had so much fun. Um, but it's crazy because it's October and I know this is, at least for our family, and I'm sure for most, the craziest part of the year. You got Halloween, Thanksgiving next month, Christmas and New Year's coming up right after that. And there is always so much to get done. Um, and it can get very overwhelming very quickly. It's funny because I was actually talking with my girlfriend, Jesse from Jesse at Home. Um, and I was saying, because growing up, Christmas decorating, and I know a lot of you guys think I decorate way too early, but growing up, we always decorated the day after Thanksgiving. The day after Thanksgiving, dad and us kids would go to the tree lot and we would pick out a tree and then we would decorate the house. Um, and I did that for a while with my family, but when I started decorating earlier, I love it and I will always decorate early. And the reason why is I feel like decorating is so much fun. I love it. You guys know I love my decor, but it can also be stressful. It can be very stressful. Um, so to have all my Christmas stuff up before Thanksgiving and before December and allow me to just focus on going and seeing Christmas lights and baking and all these different holiday things that we enjoy doing with the kids. I love it. And I have definitely decided um, if in 10, 15, 20 years, I'm not doing YouTube anymore, I will still be that crazy person decorating right after Halloween for Christmas because I just love the peace of mind I get in December, not having to worry about any of the decorations. There's something different about us. Oh, and I know I mentioned it earlier, but I want to mention it again. When it comes to cleaning, even outside, I'm trying to use very few um, cleaning products. So out here on the windows, I'm pretty much using the Spray Away World's Best Window Cleaner. You guys know I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I was having to obviously change my rigs regularly, especially on this side of the house. The windowsills and everything were very very dirty. Uh, but another thing I would recommend um, if you have the availability is the Windex spray that you attach to a hose works really, really well. I would still go in afterwards with a spray away and give it a really good wipe down. But if I had access to a hose, that would have made cleaning out these window sills a lot quicker and easier. Um, I also love that Windex stuff because sometimes you don't want to take your screens all the way off. I do believe you should still do that at least like twice a year, but sometimes you just need the outside of the windows clean and you don't want to take the screens off. That Windex stuff really, really does work very well. I've used it multiple times. My mom is actually the one that told me about it. I'd, I'd seen it around, but I hadn't personally used it and my mom used it and said she really liked it. So I then got into using it. So if you guys are ever looking at doing windows that are really, really dirty, it might be a good idea to like pre-clean it with the Windex stuff and then go in with your spray away cleaner to get it the rest of the way clean. Um, but yeah, I was very much trying to avoid any of my harsh chemicals. I did bring my crud cutter on this day, but I'll say I didn't end up needing it at all. That was one nice thing is it wasn't really like super greasy or dirty I was able to pretty much get everything done with just my spray away my thieves cleaner and pine saw um, the only area that I used my crud cutter was when I was cleaning the upholstery you guys saw a couple weeks back I tried that in a family room and I really liked the way it works as a carpet shampooer so that is the only time I used the crud cutter was in this machine right here Say bye. 
So next week, uh, Mama's Duck's eggs are due to hatch. So I am hoping that I can catch some of them hatching. Um, I don't know. We'll see. She is definitely very feisty right now watching her eggs. But if I can, I definitely want to share that over on our family vlog channel. If you guys don't follow us over there, um, it's just Cambria and Bobby. And we do a little bit of everything. That channel is just more of just like, I don't know, we have a lot of fun with it. We feel like we can just kind of do whatever, whenever, share more of our life. Um, I know on these channels, the cleaning channels, it looks like all I do ever is clean. And I swear that is not my entire life. It's a lot of it, but I feel like that's just part of being a mom. <laughs> um, but that channel just kind of allows me to share a little bit more and have a little bit more fun with it. Um, I had almost forgot to hit all these doors though in this bedroom and hallway. Like I said, I was jumping around. Uh, it's definitely a lot easier when I have like a list per room compared to overall lists like windows and things like that. Um, so I definitely was jumping around a little bit more than I am usually more comfortable with. Normally I like to like do one room and like thoroughly hit it all. Uh, but on this day I was more interested in hitting the must haves and then going back and doing more if I had the time. So like this kitchen area, it was not on my must haves, but I was at a point where I still had some time before I had to go and get the kids. So I wanted to tidy it up. She had some dishes on the counter. So I figured I would quickly put those away for her, give it all a quick wipe down, um, she did end up leaving with the newborn just because even though I was trying to use less chemically products, let's be honest, even non-toxic cleaners are still cleaners. I don't believe in non-toxic cleaners. Even my thieves stuff, like, I don't know. I just don't know how that can be a thing. Um, and she kind of felt the same way. So she ended up taking the little baby out of the house. That way I could finish up and... I figured I would go around and do a little bit more on the list that she may not have been expecting to get done. Two years and you never said a word. No, in two hours and now said it all. This vacuum has been such a lifesaver to be able to take to people's houses and then come home and like thoroughly clean it before going over to the next. Um, I can't tell you how many places I've gone to where people didn't have like just a stick vacuum, but makes sense. A lot of times if people don't have carpeting, they don't have vacuums. I get it. Uh, but you guys know me. I love my stick vacuums. Um, I am actually would love to get like a secondary um like either a dyad or one of those champ uh vacuum mops another one um because i like having the two options one for my house and then one to take places that i can sanitize and clean beforehand um coming up soon so we will see but i think that would make life a lot easier in this situation we were coming down to like the last 10 minutes that i had before i had to leave that way i could get to school on time so i was quickly just going around vacuuming as much as possible but you'll see here in a second that i went to go do with a family room and start packing stuff up and looked up and realized i had completely forgot the ceiling fan in the family room which was actually the dirtiest ceiling fan in the entire house um and you're gonna see that here in just a second because all the dust and grime that had fallen on the ground was insane. Absolutely insane. Yeah, you can see me here like, oh, I'm just going to start like tidying up, get the last little bit things done. And then, yeah, then I looked up and went, uh, I have to hit that before I leave. Like, 
Now, when it comes to ceiling fans, if you are able, I did not bring just like a Swiffer on this day, and I should have. Uh, that's sometimes the real life of going somewhere else and forgetting to bring all the things that you want to bring. But if you can dry dust before wet dusting, it makes a really, really big difference. So highly recommend either taking the um, vacuum cleaner, if you've got one of those like little brushy areas that you can use or a Swiffer pad or something and dry dust it first, it'll make a huge difference and not leave as much mess on the floor like you saw there. I try to connect all the dots Oh, to let you in behind my shelter You could fit into my life When it's daylight and it's night I would give away my soul But is it worth it? I don't know I don't Alright, so I was running out of time to do a quick like after shot of everything um before having to get the boys from school i'm so i'm doing this outro so while sitting in the pickup line to get xander and bjorn but i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video um this one i know was really jumpy but i was really just trying to focus on all those areas with this being a new place for her having the newborn um she's been working on trying to deep clean it as much as possible before she moved in but there's just certain areas she couldn't get uh one being because she didn't have a step ladder she actually messaged me this morning telling me she didn't have a step ladder um and if i had one if i could bring one to help get like the ceiling fans and the windows and things like that so um it was a lot of jumping around and also working around them still unpacking so everything was still a little hectic and crazy in there but i hope today just makes the ease of moving into a new place a little bit easier for her she stayed for a little bit but then ended up leaving um with the newborn just because even though i was trying to use not super heavy chemicals knowing she had a newborn um she was very very cautious so even like the pine saw she's like i'm just gonna go somewhere else with the baby which i was totally cool with totally understand uh whenever you have a new baby there's always just like the fear of everything so but i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to like subscribe comment um all those things just always really help out my channel and i appreciate everyone that made it to the end you guys honestly mean the world to me i've been doing youtube now for years it's been over five years that i've been doing this and there are days that it can be really hard and stressful, but every time I get to make a video, help someone new, chit chat with you guys either over here on YouTube or Instagram, like you guys remind me why I do this, why I love doing this. Um, and none of this would be possible without you guys. So a big thanks to each and every one of you. I recognize your guys' thumbnails and names on all the comments especially the people that are very consistent at commenting every single week or sharing my videos every single week i just i cannot say enough how much i appreciate each and every one of you helping me and i know i always get the comments especially on these helping hand videos of how great i am for helping people and this and that and the next and i appreciate it but honestly i wouldn't be able to do any of these free cleanings without you guys watching my videos and sharing my videos and doing all of that so i want to give a big thanks to you guys because you guys make this helping hand series possible so thank you and i'll see you next time bye